Hello ladies and gents. What you are looking at is the reason that I'm going to experiment with a new fixture design. Stock prep. It is a major pain in the ass. That right there is like two feet deep of chips just from stock prep. My stock prep involves lots of facing and squaring and drilling and boring and reaming and that's all just to get it onto this fixture right here because that is how I hold it with a socket head cap screw right through the bore and this is how they're held on the fixture you all have seen that before but it gets to be a huge pain in the ass so jumping into fusion here uh, this is kinda what my uh, design for a 1x fixture is going to look like. I don't want to make a whole huge fixture yet until I know that this is going to work. So what I'm going to try to use are these Mighty Bite Pitbull clamps. And uh, the main reason is to eliminate all the stock prep, but it will also allow me to combine uh, the drilling and reaming operations of the main bore uh, with the profiling operations so it'll it'll add more consistency and it'll eliminate a whole uh, another setup um, it's gonna be awesome if it works uh, I I have my reservations because those pit bulls are only holding uh, an eighth inch of material and that's a two and a half inch tall block so there's a huge leverage force going on but they're rated for 3600 pounds each so with that let's jump right into sawing up some stock and then I didn't get any footage, but I uh, squared it up and everything. And we'll dial it in and use our cam post from uh, Fusion using those sweet 2D adaptive clearing tool paths. Cut this thing out. I have to confess something. I experienced tool pullout on this part. I know it's embarrassing, but uh, it kind of ruined the part. <laughs> so I had to make it twice. Uh, and I also experienced pullout on the second part. Um, I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe it was a bad call. It. I ended up replacing it, and that problem went away. But uh, but yeah, because of that, uh, the, the second part ended up being thinner than I had wanted it, uh, which will become an issue a little bit later. And there we have it. Turned out pretty good. There it is with the blunt edge clamps in it. <clears throat> and it seems to hold really well. Those are the knife edge clamps. I wanted to experiment with the two different kinds. Um, turns out the knife edge clamps don't bite into steel that well like it does aluminum. I noticed that Mighty Bite recommended a surface treatment for the blunt edge clamps to increase their holding power by 5x. So I got this idea, which I believe is essentially what they're doing, and that is carbidizing the face of the clamps, uh, depositing uh, tungsten carbide into the surface, giving it a rough texture, but also very hard and grippy uh, for hard things like steel. So I played around with uh, different voltages <clears throat> with the uh, DC power supply and it turns out the higher the voltage 
the uh, more coarse the deposition of the tungsten and I wanted it to be as coarse as possible to be grippy I don't want it smooth like the lock face on a knife or anything so I have my Dremel engraver I have the positive hooked up to the um, carbide that's just a broken end mill eighth inch broken end mill and the um, ground hook to the clamp Sixty volts is as high as my power supply goes, but that seems to give a great rough textured carbonizing carbonized surface. Uh, I limited the current to two amps. Um, I tried one amp, which worked fine, but two amps gave a bit rougher texture, and you know, rough is what I'm going for. So, sixty volts, two amps uh, seemed to work great. So after carbonizing one, um, I, I clamped down on a block of steel and compared the market left to one that was not carbonized. And the one on the left here had been carbonized, the one on the right had, and you could see where the carbonized one definitely bites and kind of grips into the metal. So the test is going to be uh, all three of these are carbonized, but the test is going to be doing that uh, roughing operation in this fixture and seeing if it holds. So I just tightened them by hand with the uh, Allen wrench. I ended up hitting them with the impact driver a little bit later just to make sure they were nice and tight. This is the end mill I'll be using uh, from Lakeshore Carbide called the War Mill. You'll probably hear about that later in a later video. So right there where the end mill seemed to plunge down into stuff there, that is because the whole fixture ended up canting out of the vice jaws a little bit because remember I said before it was too thin. Um, it was actually about half the thickness I wanted it to be so I wasn't gripping onto it as much as I would have liked. 
However, it held it held perfectly. Um, I uh, before I unscrewed the clamps, I looked down there to see if I could see any light underneath that block, and there wasn't a bit of light. It held it held tight as could be, and you can really see those grip marks from the clamps in there after carbonizing. So I would say that was a success, uh, which means that I can now proceed with this fixturing idea. This is ultimately what it'll look like with a gas block seated in there, and this is what the full-size fixture is going to look like. So uh, it, it, just a shop update, um, I've been working my balls off to get this last run done and they are going to be better than ever. I took everything I learned from uh, the previous runs and applied them to this one as best as I could. I even learned a lot from this run that I'm going to be applying to future runs. But in addition to many, many war blocks, uh, I also have a couple of new ones. This one right here, um, I'm tentatively calling the War Block Light Hunter. And it's geared towards hunters who don't want or need a bayonet lug. It's 3.5 ounces. This one here is a Warblock 5.8. It's for 5.8 inch pencil barrels. And I wanted to bring all that up because the uh, introduction, introductory sale price on these um, I'm going to end February 14th, Valentine's Day. They should be back from melanining by then. So uh, if you contact me and want to reserve one, because I'm actually out of stock, except for the few barrel assemblies I have left on the website, um, if you contact me and want to reserve one or purchase, you know, anything on the website right now, uh, the war blocks are are essentially, I think, 42% off retail right now, plus free shipping and free pinning and installation. So um, make sure you get in there before February 14th because uh, the rent's going up. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Thanks, guys, for watching, and see you in the next video.